Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome. It is beyond amazing to see you here. It's great to see you. I'm John Potter. I'm the director of The Latches. I'm pleased to welcome you to the 2022 NECA Circus Spectacular. Let's give it up for that. I'm pleased to see you here. I'm also uh, pleased to welcome all of you who are uh, watching this via streaming. Wherever you are, we're glad to have you with us tonight as well. Um, it's very special to have this event. It always is. Uh, but uh, the 2020 Circus Spectacular was the last live event from our community partners here in this town that we had before we shut down. Uh, I can't possibly say where we are now, but it feels very appropriate uh, to have this be the first event with our community partners that we're having again now. Very exciting time for us. It feels... It, it cuts right here for all of us. Uh, I also think it's um, uh, doubly important and doubly meaningful that uh, we have NECA here today. I think if we've learned anything in the last two years, it's the uh, importance of community and uh, our responsibility for caring for each other and the role we all play in making this uh, a wonderful, workable, and safe, and healthy, and happy community. And I don't think there's any organization that does community better than NECA. So I think it's very special that uh, they are here today as well. While I have you here, I'd like to call attention to just a couple of other uh, events that we have coming up. You found your way here tonight. Let's hope you come back again soon. Uh, on uh, April 9th, we have another annual favorite community event that we haven't had in a while. The College Acapella Show is coming back. So uh, a shot of youthful adrenaline and wonderful music uh, will grace the stage then. And later in April, we have uh, two amazing concerts. The first on April 23rd, we have Don McLean, the American Pie Guy, Come and hear. It's the 50th anniversary of that song. We're not that old, uh, but it is. And he's going to be here on that stage to sing that song and, and others. And we're, um, we're blown away that he's coming here. And then uh, the next weekend uh, on April 29th, Livingston Taylor is going to be here, a fabulous singer-songwriter. Uh, so we have, um, uh, we have a really great spring coming up, and we hope we see you here. Details about all of that can be found on latches.com, and we hope, uh, we hope you check it out, and we hope you come back again. Um, it is my uh, great pleasure now to introduce the president of the NECA board, Elizabeth Wall. Thank you so much, John. Uh, he introduced me, so I don't have to introduce myself. Uh, but I will say what a tremendous joy it is to have you all joining us here in this most beautiful theater. Um, I would just echo what John said. Let's keep this place alive and hopping. Yes, you can clap. <laughs> So I know your time is precious, and there are going to be a few more people that you have to hear from, so I do not want to take up any more of your time than is absolutely necessary. But I do think it's important to share with you a couple of the key initiatives that the board of directors at NECA has, is undertaking. The first is this, and there are two, three that I'm going to share with you. The first is this. In the last year, the board of directors for NECA has constituted a diversity, equity, and inclusion committee task force. Um, with the full support of the board, we have chosen a robust, diverse group of people who are looking at ways to continue to make NECA the welcoming and inclusive organization that we strive to be in our mission. We recognize that we haven't always done that well, and it's important for us to keep learning and growing. So I want to give a tremendous thank you and shout out to the folks who are taking part in that and sharing that work with us. Thank you all. The second is this. For the first time since we built the trapezium, NECA is embarking on a strategic planning process. We're about two thirds of the way through it. 
um, and we'll be sharing more updates with you as we finalize the plan. But I do want to say many of you have participated in that work. So thank you for the gifts of time and energy and thoughts that you've given to NECA. It's really important now that we are adjusting to the new post uh, pan, I don't want to say post pandemic, but uh, you know, where we are in the pandemic, as John said, um, and looking forward to NECA's future to make it as strong as it can possibly be. The final is this. Do you see this cool envelope? I only have two hands, I always forget that. Um, it is an important initiative of the Board of Directors to make sure that NECA has the funds it needs in order to grow and thrive and survive. You're all, you're all being here tonight and supporting this event gives for our scholarship fund. It helps make sure that people who could not otherwise afford to attend our programming have that opportunity. But NECA is a not-for-profit. It costs more to run NECA than we bring in in tuition. And so this envelope is a contribution um, as well that can help NECA really expand, really grow. So you'll find these envelopes um, at the back. You can give them to somebody like me if you think I'm a board member who might collect them. We also have donation boxes on your way out of the theater. So please um, feel free if you like what you see tonight, if you like the things that your grandchildren have come back to do or your strange law colleague who likes to do circus in the evenings, if you think that's impressive, you should support it. So with that, I will tell you that um, it is my tremendous uh, delight to introduce you to NECA's executive director. Jenna Struble joined us in the middle of a blizzard, in the middle of a pandemic. She and her spouse drove across the country to be here, and she has led NECA through this last year so ably um, that it makes our job as board, uh, board members that much easier. So please give a warm welcome to Jenna Struble. I am so excited to be here. It's been uh, over a year since I've been on a stage talking to anyone. So thank you for listening. I know you're not here to see me, so I'm gonna make this as brief as I can. This weekend comes at a time of perseverance. You know, through the 15 years that NECA's been around, it was started out as a labor of love, and now it's the largest and one of the most respected circus schools in the nation, and I have a privilege to lead that. But our founders have persevered. Elsie Smith and Serenity Smith Fortune have done a great job building this community. And uh, the board, thanks to the board and the volunteers and the many community members that have built that, I want to thank you for that. You know, through financial and personal losses during this pandemic, through mitigation strategies and wearing masks, striving to serve our community youth and adults, um, to give them the joy and the mental health that they need to survive this two-year pandemic has been a struggle, and we have persevered. We have, as Elizabeth mentioned, a three-year strategic plan on the horizon. We've raised a lot of money through a new annual campaign appeal. Um, we're doing a lot. We've restructured a lot in the past year, and we're doing it all because we want to serve you all better. We want to produce better work, increase our breadth and scope, and we're doing it all. We have persevered. We're stronger than ever. I also want to talk about the 24 Ukrainian students who have crossed the border into the Czech Republic. Nina Araya, the director of the Kyiv Municipal School for Variety Acts and Circus, has made it through today to the Czech Republic. And as a World Alliance member, we support them you being here supports them. You support our local students and all of our alumni around the globe who are here for you, to bring you the joy that you need. Because this has been a very challenging time, but we persevere. So thank you all. I hope you have a great time tonight. I hope you laugh. I hope you cry a little. Let's get some catharsis and some joy from these wonderful artists who have persevered through theatrical closings, job loss, a lot of mental health issues themselves to come and bring this joy to you tonight. They are so happy to be here. So please give a round of applause to Elsie and Serenity, our founders, they are next. 
Thank you, Jenna. I thought Elsie was going to be here with me. Um, uh, there's people here. I, I'm ready for the other kind of a show. You know, when you sit with popcorn at your house, you're here for the live stream. Uh, Hi, everyone who's joining us live streaming from the relaxing couches at home wearing your tiger striped onesies like Elsie. Um, hi, my name is Serenity Smith Fortune, and I forgot I can take off my mask on stage today. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for being here. Um, thank you for joining me, Elsie. Um, we are here to get the show started um, and to thank everyone who has been helping us in the last two years to weather this pandemic. Uh, John Potter mentioned that it's been 547 days since we graced this stage two years ago, our last in-person show. So thank you to the Latches and all of you. <laughs> Elsie and I are very proud to be here honoring the diligent and difficult work of our staff and board and the commitment of our students and sponsors. They actually give me a microphone. So what are we able to do here Today, in this show with Circus, we are here to witness the magic of human endeavor, the power of what can be accomplished when we finally get to come together. Thank you for being here to support this fundraising event that supports outreach and programming at NECA. And now, to lead us through tonight's event, I have the great honor to welcome our celebrity guest ringmaster, artistic director of Circus Mercus, and former clown director for Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus, founder of Wonderly's Big Top Adventure, please welcome Troy Wonderly. Ah, uh, yeah. Woo! How about we make some noise for live entertainment? Yeah. There is a phrase that you can't keep a good thing down, and I think we can all agree here that NECA is a very good thing. All right, through thick and thin, we pulled through, and we have a show for you tonight. So I ask you right now, are you ready to be dazzled? Are you ready to be amazed? Well then make some noise for the 2022 Spectacular! <laughs> I think I'll just chill out over here for a minute. It is with great pleasure that I introduce our first act for the evening. Originally from Pittsburgh, this performer grew up running around abandoned factories while harboring strong opinions about potatoes. Her adventures as a dancer have led her through lots of odd jobs, including snake breeding and performing for a world-famous visual artist as a, as a horse's butt. Yeah, I want to know how that went. Uh, Mom and Dad, I, I don't want to be a doctor. Uh, I don't want to be a lawyer. Uh, I would like to be the rear end of a rather large four-legged creature. Hey, I'm jealous. Without further ado, please help me in welcoming the multi-talented Mandy Hackman!
So I'm often asked, how hard is it to be a circus performer? And you know what, I could tell you, but I'd rather show you. So here we go. I'm gonna climb right up here. I'm gonna take a nice little roost up on the top. Ooh, that's a good view, social distancing. I'm gonna show you by having you become interactive in a moment. Can everyone put their right index finger and hold it high in the sky? This is what it feels like to be a superstar. With your hand up there, draw a square for me. Who thinks they can do it? Ah, looking pretty good. So I ask you, is this easy or hard? Oh, easy, we got one of those crowds, I like it. All right, left index finger up. And let's draw a triangle with your left hand. That's three sides if you've been out of school for a while. Good, easy or hard? Well, that's what we do as performers. We learn a skill, we learn another skill, and then we put them together. Here we go, both hands up, let's have fun, shall we? A square with the right, a triangle with the left, done at the same time on your mark. Get set, go, yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep, that's what it feels like. Give yourselves a round of applause. So that may be what it feels like, how hard it is to be a performer, but you may be asking, how hard is it to run a nonprofit's arts organization during a global pandemic? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of like balancing a triangular ladder square on your chin. But you don't want to see that. You don't want to see that. All right, I'll do it for you, but I need some help. Here we go. Get those hands going. There it is. Our next artist knows a thing or two about balance. Ripley became enchanted by circus as a teenager while on tour with Circus Smirkus. I've heard of them. She went on to study at the Quebec Circus School and has been living and performing locally in Vermont's Upper Valley. She's excited to debut her new foot juggling act with one-of-a-kind props by Jason Burns and original music by Milena Marcus. She will be assisted by Liam Goonluck who you'll see later on in the show. Please put your hands together for Ripley Burns.
Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okie dokie. NECA relies on the generosity of organizations and donors to support the services they offer our community. In their annual appeal this year, NECA gained a new sponsor at their top showmanship level. Please join us in thanking the Specialty Insurance Agency, a family company offering important insurance products that are customized for performers and circuses alike. And their new steadfast supporting business, Brattleboro Savings and Loan, has been with NECA longer than any other business, proving that nothing is too hard for them to handle. <laughs> Help? <laughs> Uh, sorry, <laughs> give me a minute. Here we go. Uh, <laughs>
was Elsa Hall performing an aerial strap sack inspired by the waves of an ocean. <clears throat> NECA has received other grant support from National Endowment for the Arts, Vermont Arts Council, New England Foundation for the Arts, Samara Fund, and the Agency of Commerce and Community Development. Now that's a pretty incredible list. How about a round of applause for all of them? <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Now, in order to introduce the next act, I would like to sing a song. I would like to, but I don't sing, so I won't. Sometimes it pays to be untalented. Morgan Oldham started her performance career as a dancer, but ended up trading standing on her toes for standing on her hands. Tonight, she will dazzle you with her new passion of chair stacking in an attempt to reach new heights in every sense of the word.
Next, I would like to thank our performer hospita hasp hospitality sponsors. Tavernier Chocolates, yum. Badger Bomb, oh yeah. Side Hill Farm doesn't get much better than that. Bravo Botanicals, what an epic name. And the Vermont Country Deli, now you're talking. For keeping our performers sweet, fed, and wonderfully relaxed. In fact, I would like to show you just how appreciative we are with a little trick. Just wait. We'll wait. We'll keep waiting. Just, you were supposed to come out with this and then take this. Yep, okay, can you do that? Okay, yeah, take it. This is gonna be a very long show, folks. Very, I'm only kidding, brilliant. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We've got a spiral wheel right here. I'd like you to look at the middle of that wheel. I'd like you not to take your eye off it. I'm gonna spin this wheel, in fact. Your eyes may start to feel a little weird, might start to blur just ever so slightly. It will not hurt you, keep looking. When we're done, I'm gonna count down from 10. When we're done, you're gonna take your eyes off the wheel and look at the heart on this beautiful bag of goodies. This will prove to you just how grateful we are. Counting down from 10, 10, nine, eight. Keep looking at the center. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Look at the heart. There you have it. Thanks to everyone that donated to these amazing goodie bags. A round of applause for each and every one of them. In your orbit is a sear wheel and marimba duet performed by circus artist Alexis Hedrick and musician Greg Jukes. They created this piece together, each working in input from the other to develop the music and the choreography. The piece reflects their connection in their real life partnership and the separation that comes from being two working artists in love with their different art forms.
This year, many companies stepped up to support NECA. At the Lira sponsor level, we had the Holiday Inn Express. They are just up the road from NECA, and I hear that they have a fantastic pool. Also, Oak Metal, offering curriculum guides for homeschooling, perfect for when you're on the road with the circus. At the High Wire sponsor level, we have yummy, organic, GMO-free Backroads granola. You know what, that was so much fun to say, I'm gonna say that again. We had yummy, organic, GMO-free, backroads granola. Mm -hmm. Also, the Trust Company of Vermont, providing trust and investment management services to all. And Berkeley and Vela Realty, the area's leading independent, full-service real estate company. Next time you use the, their services, please take a moment to thank each and every one of them for supporting NECA. All right. When asking the right transitions for the show, I dug deep for this one. A love story. Once upon a time, there were two ropes that saw each other and fell in love. They tied the knot. Thank you. <laughs> you know, that was gonna be it, but I can see your riveted, so we'll go on. A little while later, one got pregnant and gave birth to a little baby. That baby grew strong, wishing one day to become a performer at a NECA Spectacular. Shall we make their dreams come true? Let's watch as this rope obeys my every command. Down. Stay. Play dead. Okay, they're not good. <laughs> Talking about knots, I've got one here. 
I have a challenge for you. I'd like you to watch this knot. No matter what I do, don't take your eyes off this knot. All right. Do you understand the rules of this competition? Mm-hmm. Are you watching this knot? No, I need some feedback. Are you watching this knot? No, you're not watching. I know you're wondering if they're gonna get better. I'm afraid not. And just one more, you know, cause I do have a rope here. This end is the beginning. If this is the beginning, this is the... You're right. Thank you. <laughs> Rachel Reese grew up in New Orleans and graduated from NECA's Pro Track in 2019. She will perform her act tonight to music from a Ukrainian group, Daka Baraka, which derives from the Ukrainian verb meaning give and take. She wishes to acknowledge the struggle the Ukrainian people are facing and express her respect and gratitude for the music that has inspired her for years. Thank you. 
right, so here's one for you. What's the difference between a well-dressed ringmaster on a unicycle and a poorly dressed clown on a bike? A tire. Oh, yeah. Please la laugh, that cost me 500 bucks. All right. All right. Liam is a Vermont-based artist. He graduated from Ecole de Cirque de Quebec in 2020 and has since been working and performing with his partner, Ripley Burns. Liam specializes in Diablo, partner acrobatics, and accordion, and spent the summer doing shows in backyards, on farms, and at schools and fairs. Liam loves skiing and folding origami and is thrilled to be sharing his new Diablo act with you here tonight.
I know, I know, I know you wanted me to come out on my unicycle again. But this time, I was too tired. <sighs> These next sponsors are specifically supporting the Circus Spectacular event. Please thank them and support them in your return. Brattleboro Tire is across the street from NECA, and they don't just do tires, they'll fix your whole car. The Works Bakery is good food for good people and a better planet. Serenity says they even make the best sourdough bread ever. And Kruma Technology Corp, who manufactures interface filters and find pleasure in being active and caring members of our community. Finally, our spectacular media sponsors are the Brattleboro Reformer and Peak Radio Group. For our next act, please welcome to the stage Ariana Ferber Carter. They are performing a new solo contortion act co-written by Janelle Peters. Can 
All right. And now, I would like to take a moment to remind you to look for the QR code in your program. To Liam, Liam, what are you doing? Ringing the cowbell. <laughs> and now I'd like to take a moment to remind you to look for the QR. Liam, what are you doing? I am ringing the cow bell. Yes, I can hear that. I'm talking. Well, go okay. ahead. It doesn't bother me. Liam, 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 what you may not understand is all these fine folks are trying to listen to me. I'd agree with you, Troy, but then we'd both be wrong. Oh, 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 I see where you're going with this. Yeah, but you don't know this, but I'm a very important part of this show. So are the exits. Why don't you go Troy one out? Oh. oh, I see what you did there. Okay, uh-huh. Um, yeah, Liam, how long are you going to keep this up? How long you got? Oh, jeepers. Okay, all right. Um, and now, I would like to take a moment to remind you to... Oh, Liam, Liam, is there anything I can do to make you stop? Troy, I was going to ask you the same question. <laughs> Oh, man, oh, man. Seriously, you can't come back and do that another time? Uh, um, could come back in a couple hours, but I think he'd still be talking, so... I don't know. I don't know. Oh, really? Uh, hey, stop! Stop, stop! We can't keep torturing the audience this way! Troy, we've been telling you that! There we are. Ah, yeah, yeah. Bye, Troy. And, yeah, thanks. And this one's for real. And now, I would like to take a moment to remind you to look at your QR code in your program and to consider making a donation to NECA if possible. Don't forget that donating is calorie free and is sure to make you 10 pounds lighter and 10 years younger, which is good unless you're 10 years old. Thanks also for abiding by the COVID protocols and for allowing this spectacular to happen. <laughs> Carolyn Wright has performed with companies across the US and internationally, including Cirque du Soleil and Circus Fear. Rachel Berenger recently completed a contract with the Shanghai Circus, and she regularly performs for the Boston Circus Guild. This act was originally choreographed by Carolyn and Sochi Sosha and won an Isadora Duncan Award in 2017. It is about the connection between people through unexpected pathways. Despite moments of separation, they always reunite.
Thank you, thank you, thank you one and all for giving these performers and myself an opportunity and a platform to pursue our passions once again. <laughs> Thanks also for supporting NECA through Thick and Thin and for being the best gosh darn and spectacular audience out there. Yes. In case you couldn't tell, we had a blast this evening. We hope you did as well. So without further ado, please put your hands together for the 2022 Circus Spectacular Superstar!